Hero 7 Black's the best GoPro we've ever made. I personally, I don't understand why you guys are still using these massive cameras when we've made this badass. This thing captures the best stabilized video of any camera ever. Hey guys, so I've been vlogging with the GoPro Hero 7 for quite some time now. I've shared uh, my vlogging, various vlogging setups that, I've, that I have for the GoPro Hero 7 and what I think is the ultimate compact vlogging setup for the GoPro Hero 7. If you vlog with a GoPro, I think I've discovered the best vlogging setup and you can check out that video as well. But the question is, um, what other accessories um, should you have for the GoPro Hero 7 when you're vlogging? So in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, some of my key ingredients for compact vlogging with the GoPro Hero 7. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, thanks for watching so far. And uh, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. Please make sure you like the video at the end. I know you'll like it at the end. So maybe just hit the like button now and uh, make sure you subscribe as well. So the GoPro Hero 7. I've done a lot of videos now about the GoPro Hero 7. So in this video, what I wanna do is kind of go over all of the stuff that's GoPro related that I keep in my camera bag and why I have it and um, why I think it's useful. And if you're vlogging with a GoPro or if you're doing just day-to-day -day video recording your daily life or just the kids or whatever with a GoPro, I think these are some of the things that you should have anyway. So let's go and take a look at what's in my camera bag, GoPro related. All right guys, so this is um, not all of my GoPro accessories, but this is basically what I have in my bag and probably the accessories that I use the most when I'm out and about uh, vlogging or doing stuff with the family. So first and foremost, we have our GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, I actually took the door off, and what I do is I have this little plastic container that I keep the door in so that I don't lose it. So I just keep it in this little container, and I put that in the bag in a, in a special pouch. Uh, this pouch, actually, I just took this little Kemba pouch and I repurposed it, labeled it, and that way I keep a lot of my little GoPro accessories in there. First of all, when you get a GoPro, you need extra batteries. Make sure you buy extra batteries. So I have a battery in there right now and I have two extra batteries with my batteries and my charging cable. And I keep that in there. And then what I do is I keep my little door in there and I have one of these little Apple bricks, which are universal for charging. These are great because they're small. So I do that and that's basically like my GoPro essentials right here. This is like the life of the GoPro. So put that in there. This thing, um, we don't really need this. We don't need, we never really use it. Now, as far as the GoPro itself, the reason I have this little bag here is just to show you um, what I purchased, um, which is how I made my little vlogging setup. I actually, from small rig, Small Rig makes these little shoe mounts, hot shoe, a cold shoe adapter plates that you can uh, put on any type of mount that has uh, a hole that you can screw on. And I also have this amazing Velcro. This is like heavy duty Velcro. And what I did was, I've been talking about this a lot. So you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I talk about this little guy a lot. This is the side arm, the bare bones side arm. Um, I'll link it below. This thing is amazing. And what I did was I just basically cut pieces of Velcro and I put some on the side there and on the top. And what you can do here is I actually put some on the top, but I didn't cover that hole because, you know, you can take one of these guys and you can just plug them, you know, plug that adapter right there and use it, um, use it on, on there so that you could actually use this adapter. And I'll show you in a minute as we put it on our camera has this little bracket right here that fits perfectly in that little hinge and you just basically put it in there nice and carefully it fits snug and once it's 
once you line it up you just kind of snap it right in and there it is like this thing is amazing this little bracket is awesome i love it has a quarter inch uh the thread tripod thread mount on the bottom which i use with this little mini joby tripod that has magnet feet this is great for just you know holding it putting it somewhere to stand um a great little thing i usually put this guy right on top so that you could actually use one of these uh, microphones now this is the boya microphone um, it's a kind of like a knockoff of the Rode Video Micro, or maybe the Rode Video Micro is a knockoff of this. I don't know. But, you know, you can use that. And there's your little vlogging setup with this microphone. But this Ceramonic microphone is amazing. I put a little w muffle. Uh, I bought these extra. But I bought like, I think I get like 12 of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it below as well. Slap one of these on here. Now, this little guy right here, I think sounds just as good as this for vlogging maybe not for professional filmmaking that you're going to be doing if you just want audio that's better than the built-in microphone of your camera this does great now you're asking how do you plug this into this most of you are familiar with this thing if you know gopro you know this horrible thing i hate it so anyway i put velcro on it and what i basically do is I kind of pop it on on an angle like this and I've shown you this in other videos and you know then plug that guy right there and now I have my microphone that I pop in right there and there's my vlogging setup right now with this GoPro I love this to death I love this to death the best part about this is that I can be vlog uh, vlogging holding it like this talking to the can talking to the camera or I can turn around and I'll show you something and I could just turn this around and now I'm narrating and it's picking up great audio so if I don't want to put it on like that you can just flip it like this and maybe just pop it on top like like that and you know that's a different setup right there and this velcro is great I mean it's not going anywhere now you could just be like this because the audio of this is not that bad now I also have this one right here which I this is the the SLR Joby I think now they call it the 3k um, you know I love this little guy and I actually picked up a couple of extra of these plates so you could attach I actually have one right now on my light stand I have one right now on my for my camera for my light stand so I can actually pop my camera on, on different stands and tripods using multiple of these and if I wanted to, I could also, you know, pop one at the, on the bottom of this guy. You know, you can use it like this, and there you there you go. Have my little this little lens cap came with one of the other accessory things that I got for the GoPro, so I like putting it on there just to keep the, the lens protected. And then as far as just like other GoPro mounts or whatever, I don't really use the sticky mounts, um, but this one is actually pretty good. Uh, there's some other ones that are similar to this just something that you can just attach the GoPro and it just you know clamp on this is great because you can clamp it onto your your uh, belt uh, or you clamp it onto your the shoulder strap of your camera bag or whatever and there's different ones this is not the end all but it's just an extra an extra kind of like mounting option if you're out and about so this right here always comes with me this is always right there this I can just toss in there if I need to if I don't have room for it, I don't put it in. Uh, this microphone, if I really want better, you know, wait, you know, better, better audio, or whatever, I'll, I'll use this one. But for the most part, this is the one I use for my GoPro. This is the one I use for this camera right now. And, um, and this is kind of like for the big camera vlogging. But if I want to get a, want to be able to mount the GoPro somewhere and more secure, I'll use this guy. So these are like the extras, and these are the essentials. And this is why I love vlogging with a GoPro. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what vlogging setup or what essentials you have in your bag. I'd love to know what essentials you have in your bag. What are some of the things that you can't live without? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out some of these other videos. 
over here and subscribe and let us know in the comments what are what's in your GoPro vlogging uh, bag right now and if you do use one of these sidearms I'd love to hear about it let me know in the comments below as well thanks for watching we'll see you next time